This year marks the 15th year of the Winter Village sub-theme. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing the latest four and determining which one of these four is the best. Now, all of these are really good sets, have good play and display. They all mesh together really well. So it's going to be a tough decision. Now, before I get into all of the good details, all the pros and cons, I'm going to introduce each set to you, starting with this one. This is the Elf Clubhouse. It's the very first Winter Village set in the Icons theme, and it has 1,197 pieces, includes four elves, and one reindeer. This set was originally released in 2020, and it is now a retired product. In 2021, LEGO released Santa's Visit, which contains 1,445 pieces and four minifigures. The most important one being the big man in the red suit. Rolling in in 2022 was Main Street. Holiday Main Street, that is, with 1,514 pieces and six minifigures. And finally, the newest in the collection is the Alpine Lodge, containing 1,517 pieces and five minifigures. Before covering some pros and cons of each one, I thought I'd point out some interesting things. Like for example, the small birds. Uh, three out of four sets have a small bird. Santa's Visit, Holiday Main Street, and the Alpine Lodge. I gave all of the buildings a spin to show you this next thing that was interesting. Interesting to me at least. All of the clocks are synchronized to the same time, just before midnight, like on Holiday Main Street, um, on the street post, as well as in the toy shop, and moving over to Santa's visit, right on the mantle, showing the same exact time, and over to the Elf Clubhouse, yeah, same time. The clock's a little bit skewed, but showing the same time. The only set that doesn't have a clock is the Alpine Lodge. The Elf Clubhouse has a very detailed interior, including a fully tiled first floor and very creative action features. Like when you turn on the light, let the elves know that it's time to wake up, spin the clock, they all fall off. And there's this uh, waffle making mechanism where it just drops right into your pan. I think the Elf Clubhouse is the most out-of-the-box creative idea out of these four sets. It's also definitely got the best door in the lineup with the brick-built door. The color scheme is pleasing to the eye with the sand green and dark tan. I think the snow effects are done well in this set as well. Like for example, when you're swinging open the front door, it looks like you're sweeping the snow every time. And I'm going to say the lights on this one, you know, the, the pretend decorative l strings of lights are the best of any lighting on these four models. Continuing on the topic of best, the Elf Clubhouse has the best Christmas tree build. Uh, second place would go to Santa's Visit, where you can push down on it and it lights up. The Elf Clubhouse also has the only reindeer which is the best animal, in my opinion, of all four of these. Has this really cool retro computer. Four elves. Of course, that's always cool to have. And it's got the best toys. So what are the cons with the clubhouse? Well, if you pay attention to the piece count, you'll see that it's almost 250 pieces less than Santa's Visit and more than 300 pieces less than Holiday Main Street and the Alpine Lodge. But yet, all four of these cost $100 US. You can also tell by the thickness of the box that you get less with the clubhouse. And Santa's Visit and Holiday Main Street have the same sized boxes, but the Alpine Lodge has a little bit thicker of a box. We can probably conclude that the Alpine Lodge has the best value. Now let's talk about Santa's visit, because this is a properly built house. 
My only gripe with this set is not having a spot for Santa to land his sleigh and reindeer. And the re reindeer and sleigh do not come with the set, which is understandable considering the budget. But this is the first time we get the upgraded Santa with the dual molded legs. This set has the most complex building techniques considering the angles of the roof. The roof is superior. It's the most superior roof of all of the Winter Village collection. And this set does have the best snowman using the BB-8 droid body. And there's great snow effects throughout, including snow piled up on the mailbox, the fence, and this tree. The interior of the house is large and spacious, the way that this house is built at an angle, allowing you easy access to all of the rooms. It's an open floor plan, but I'm going to say this one has the best interior detailing of all four sets. I mean, just look at the detail above the fireplace. The stockings are done well. You've got candles and a picture above the fireplace. Got a comfy chair in the living room. A nice dining table. This side of the house has a fully detailed kitchen and an upstairs loft. This set also has the best chimney. It's a little bit big, but here's why. That is great. And now let's move on to Main Street, which has the most minifigures of all four sets. It includes six. And I love the mailbox with the snow on top. The street post looks great with clocks on all four sides. Now let's talk about the tram. Now the tram or streetcar is a little bit big in comparison to the vintage styled bus that we got with the train station or even the Winter Village train itself. However, there's a good reason for this size. Or perhaps you can look at it as if the bus and train are a little bit too small. In my opinion, the tram is the star of the show in this set as it's packed with details all the way around. Great color scheme. Did I mention that it can fit all six minifigures of this set and more? Plus, it's ready to be equipped with power functions. Although you wouldn't be able to fit all of his minifigures if you put the battery box in. The buildings in this set include a music store, a toy shop, and apartments up above. The building techniques are pretty simple, but I do love the snow effects on the roofs. Now the building depths are pretty narrow, but I do admire that there's two separate builds here, so you can move them around how you would like. And I also like the colors. I think they contrast well enough with other Winter Village sets. So on this building, you have the upstairs apartment, a little kitchen and dining area. Downstairs is the music store. Over here, you have the toy store and an upstairs bedroom. Now this bed has the best brick built bed out of these four sets because of the sideways building techniques. One other thing to note is the Holiday Main Street is the only set out of these four to not have a light brick. All right, now let's move on to the latest of the line, which is the Two Pines Inn. Well, okay, so the official name is the Alpine Lodge. So though I like that name and the idea of having a lodge, it's a bit of a stretch to call it a lodge. I think an inn is a better name for it. Could LEGO have made this a proper lodge with a bigger footprint and a taller structure? Yes, but not within the $100 budget. So, in general, I, I really love this build and the overall finish. Love the log cabin look. However, I think the roof line should come out one more stud. This set has great park usage and the most modern elements, of course, and comes with the most animals, which include the red bird, the gray squirrel, and the dark gray kitten. I think the side builds are a little bit more superior than the other sets, which are pretty substantial with this ice rink and the outhouse. The ice rink was so needed for a winter village. A little bit on the small side, but understandable considering the budget. It's got the opalescent panels, three of them, and there's great snow effects throughout including on the pine trees and around the pier. The Christmas tree is a bit small, 
but has a purpose as it has a permanent place in the lodge. I do like how the interior has a third floor squeezed in. There's beds for three. There's a lot of studded surface for posing minifigures. And in general, pretty good decorative detailing. However, they missed the door handles on the insides like they did with the other sets. This set has the best use for the light brick in my opinion, as you just push down on the top of the chimney and light up the massive fire. It can also be seen on the second floor. Another thing to note, there are no gifts or presents, but you can decorate the tree. There we go, the tree is decorated. I thought it was cool how there were tie-ins to the music store and toy shop in these other two sets like the, um, the trumpet and the rocket ship in Santa's Visit, and the keyboard and pirate ship from the Elf Clubhouse. Enough has been said about these sets. It's time to declare a winner. Falling in at number four is the Elf Clubhouse. Now, don't get me wrong. I think this is a great set and a great plus to have. But I don't think it's absolutely essential to have in a Winter Village setting. I think it'd be more essential to have Santa's workshop with more than one reindeer and Santa and some elves. And then this fell into the number four spot as well because of its lower volume and piece count. Coming in at number three is Santa's visit. It has the best interior, period. A lot of play value inside. And it looks great from the outside as well. I think this is essential to a Winter Village setup. Coming in at number two is the Alpine Lodge. Now it's in the number two spot because I think it has a lot more to do inside and out than Santa's Visit. Though it's probably not as essential to have a lodge in your Winter Village. Um, I think it pushed, pushed past the other two because of the number of pieces and the type of pieces that you get with this set. You need a main street to put together a winter village, to bring it all together. And that's why I ranked the Holiday Main Street as number one. It has the most minifigures and they all can fit into this perfectly built tram that I don't think could have been done any better. And it's the only method of transportation out of all four of these for the public. I just really think this is necessary to bring together a Winter Village setup. Let me know if you agree with my thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, that does it for this video. I'll talk to you again soon.